Rob, you're responsible for me being an alcoholic. Thanks very much. But this evening's really all about Kathy, and really, what can I say about her other than that she's the only blonde Republican pundit I don't want to fuck? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I totally nail you right now, right this minute. I'm just afraid I might catch cancer. Speaking of which, I hear Ann Coulter's trying to catch cancer because she's jealous of how thin you are. But uh, while we're on the subject of sex, uh, I once heard Kathy say she'd rather suck cock than smoke a cigar. <laughs> Which proves that she actually does have one thing in common with David Ehrenstein. <laughs> and uh, there was a blog, of, some liberal blog recently speculated that Kathy invents liberal friends just for the sake of her column. What you may not know is that's absolutely true. I am a figment of your imagination. <laughs> But really, I mean, some of these so-called liberal friends she talks about, she should uh, make them a little bit more realistic. Like, there's this one friend of hers who's supposedly on the editorial board of the LA Times and he wears a pink vest and he looks like Ben Affleck and he's married to a French woman. Yeah, I really believe this Matt Welch character exists. Come on. I first met Kathy at the LA Press Club where she puts on several events a year. I'm sure you've been to the panels, you know. The one, uh, my friend Rob Long is really awesome. That was a good panel. Uh, that other one, uh, Rob Long's new book is really cool. That was good. And who can forget uh, what Rob Long did last Tuesday? That was the best panel. Well, get it, Kathy. You're friends with a guy who was on a TV show two decades ago that was popular. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, of course. Kathy's honored a whole bunch of other right-wing nutcases over the years, but I never paid attention because there was free food. Um, everyone enjoying the free food here? Yeah. You gotta pay for the drinks, which means I'm gonna be bankrupt by the end of the night. I don't know about you guys. So who else have we got here? Uh, Andrew, sorry about the hair, man. But uh, I owe you another apology. I once implied that Andrew had made an off-color joke, and Andrew responded that he didn't have any jokes in his repertoire of any kind. And he definitively proved it here tonight, so I was wrong. And he was indeed correct. Uh, Luke Ford, the one and only diehard fan of both Dennis Prager and Air Supply, which proves that his aesthetic taste is every bit as suspect as his intellectual acumen. Where's Ross Johnson? This guy's still upset he didn't get the part of the thing in the Fantastic Four. Sorry, Ross. You know how people say if these walls could talk? Talk to Ross. He is a wall and he can talk. <laughs> Roger L. Simon, I think he's here. Man who created Moses Wine. I own the debt of thanks because that Moses Wine, two bucks at Trader Joe's, awesome! <laughs> Amy Alcon. Where's Whoa. Amy? You know, one of these days, Amy Alcon is going to figure something out. Every week, it's like, oh, I went to Starbucks and some kid there was being an asshole. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Quit going to the Starbucks where the asshole kids hang out. <laughs> Amy also likes to say that there is no God. Funnily enough, that's what her boyfriend said after their first night together. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Don't get mad, Amy. I'd hate for you to have to take my picture with your cell phone. <laughs> Ray Richmond. I haven't known him that long, but I hate him already. <laughs> well, I remember Ray uh, once wrote an article for New Times LA uh, called Who Wants to Be an Idiot? I think it was about Rita Sylvan. I don't know the answer to that one, Ray. How's it working out for you? <laughs> Jill Stewart. You know, people like to complain about Jill Stewart being right-wing and intolerant, but in fact she has a lot of sympathy and compassion for charity cases. Just ask her boyfriend, Norm. <laughs> but back to Kathy. Kathy used to make fun of my hair when I dyed funky colors, because Lord knows Kathy would never stand for a hideous dye game. <laughs> Seriously, Kathy, the chemo wig was looking better than this. Not that I'm superficial like that. I recognize that Kathy is an important part of the contemporary blogosphere. Kathy is often asked the question, why don't the mainstream media employ more bloggers? I think I have an answer to that, Kathy. <laughs> because nobody who reads the LA Times gives a flying fuck that some gay guy at the City Lights bookstore thinks Oriana Falaci is a fascist. <laughs> or that your daughter Maya is applying to college and might want to major in Russian. 
Look, we all love Maya, but I can probably speak for everyone here when I say thank Christ there wasn't a blogosphere 15 years ago. We'd have five posts a week about Maya's bowel movements in her diapers and how they somehow prove that leftists aren't tolerant. <laughs> Who the hell is this Falachi chick anyway? I mean, if I say I don't like Muslims, are you gonna write the same column about me 18 times in a row? <laughs> Stupid question, of course you will. <laughs> and Kathy's commenters, oh boy. David N. Scott thinks that ain't it cool news cliches are so funny. First, first, and first, yay! <laughs> uh, Mike K, where's Mike K? Awesome. The doctor who thinks AZT is still used to treat AIDS and the secondhand smoke is good for you. <laughs> Odysseus, the soldier in Iraq, who says that everything's great and we're winning, but if not, it's just because of the media. <laughs> and then David Ehrenstein, who calmly and rationally lays out the liberal perspective without ever resorting to hyperbole or random links to photographs of giant penises. <laughs> Actually, I think Kathy secretly likes those because she's never seen so many in real life. Oh. Oh. But seriously, folks, when I look around this room and I see all these freaks and degenerates, and especially the one in the mirror, it stands out to me as a testament to the kind of person Kathy really is because we've got total assholes from all over the spectrum in the house tonight and we're all here to honor someone who somehow managed to put up with all of us and even be a good friend. She's a crazy Republican nut job, but God damn it, she's our crazy Republican nut job. I salute her. <laughs>